Remember this fellow? The guy who tried to postpone his exam by posting a fake bomb threat. Well, he used Guerrilla Mail to send the email to the authorities about the uh, bombs he had supposedly placed around the Harvard campus. So, over here, I'm going to show you how to use Guerrilla Mail. Hopefully, not to send fake bomb threats to the police, but to use it for uh, good reasons. All right? So, all you have to do is to go to guerrillamail.com. And right now, by default, Gorilla Mail will provide you with a scrambled address, all right? So in this case, right now, it's WGMIBOJT at shacklasers.com. Hmm, that's very original. So <laughs> you can go with other extensions like GorillaMail.net, PokeMail.net, Spam4.me. Hmm. All right, I'm just going to go with PokeMail.net. And I can click in here to edit this, and I can say something like... Uh, Let's see, bad guy hacker, all right? So, <laughs> bad guy hacker. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead now and set this, all right? So this is gonna be my new uh, email address, specifically from Gorilla Mill. Now I'm gonna come down here to compose, and let's send this to our Gmail account, alex14 at gmail.com. And the subject, I... I want to learn how to swim? No. <laughs> this is interesting. Where did this come from? All right. Well, I'm just going to say, I see you. Ba -da 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 -da. All right. And for the main content, I see you every day. I am watching you. <laughs> please, please don't send this kind of emails to people that you know. Don't creep them out, please. <laughs> I think I might just have given some people some ideas on how to stalk uh, someone. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to go ahead now and send this. All right, let's confirm I'm not a robot. I am real. Okay, so let's go to Gmail now and let's see. Uh-oh, you can see I've received the email. I see you. I see you every day. I'm watching you. Oh, my gosh. All right. So you can see right now that the address has been scrambled. And you can see it also tells me that this was sent by uh, GorillaMail.com. So really, honestly, using Gorilla Mail, people would only use this for pranks. Or if you want to send out emails anonymously for one reason or the other. But uh, as you can see right now, the mail provider for the recipient will most likely be able to tell that it's from Gorilla Mail. Uh, you can see it says sent using guerrillamill.com and even uh, the email address that you use, the extension right here says at guerrillamill.com. So you're not going to fool anyone into thinking that uh, this email address is a real email address. So what happens if we actually respond? I'm going to click on reply and I'll say I see you even more. Da 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 da. <laughs> the plot thickens. All right, let's send this out. Uh, the, the the stalk that becomes the stalker, or how, how would we describe this? Anyway, I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to refresh. Now, let's go to uh, email, compose. Uh, no, let's go back to email. I'm sorry. All right. Next update is in one second. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was confused right there. So, this update, you can see right here, it runs every few seconds. So, if there's an email that you've received on your Gorilla account, it will be shown. So you can see right now that the one for, that I just sent from Monelix14 is right here. Re reply, I see you even more. Wow. All right. So this is pretty much how to use Gorilla Mail. If you want to close your account, all you have to just click on Forget Me. Just click on Forget Me right here and uh, your inbox messages will disappear and no history of your records will be kept anymore. Everything will be deleted. So that's pretty much how to use GorillaMail.com. Thank you for watching and please do not use this to send out pranks to your teachers or your parents or your, you know, whoever is out there. Please <laughs> use it responsibly, okay? Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next class. Bye-bye. <laughs>